Hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. In the last episode, we finished things off here in the Great Plateau by uh, doing the last two shrines here, the Stasis Trial and the Bomb Trial, and then of course, Link got to learn more about what happened 100 years ago when he was asleep and all that stuff, and uh, how he's got to go save Zelda from Calamity Ganon and all of Hyrule. And of course, we got the Paraglider as well, which means we can now fly off the plateau. But before we do that, there's a couple of things I want to do in the plateau, such as escaping these bees for now. Oh my god. And the first thing is to return to this stone area that I uh, said to be careful of before. And that's uh, because of this thing. We got ourselves the Stone Talus. Uh, one of the many, many bosses you can find around all of Hyrule. Now, the reason why I want to wait to fight this thing is because I was waiting until we got our hands on this iron, iron sledgehammer that we got from the... Uh, I think the stasis trial or something? Let's go ahead and shoot that rock for its weak point to climb up above and deal some massive damage with this sledgehammer. And of course, get some stones that he dropped as well. Get out of here! Oh shit, I missed it. Oh god, oh damn. Okay, uh, Link, might want to practice a bit on those swinging skills. You know, you missed a couple of them, but you know what? We're doing good. <laughs> We're doing alright. Okay, Link, you could probably kill him with an arrow. He's almost dead. Let's go. Ooh, yeah, that's, uh, he's not gonna get hit by that. Hey there, man, how you doing? Oh, God, hello. Stay right there. Thank you. Oh, God, Link, get up the rock. Link, get up the rock! <laughs> get up the rock! Okay, there we go. I just need to give you one more slam with the sledgehammer. Get out of here! Nice. <laughs> get out of here, Stone Talus. You're no match for Link. Oh, don't mind him. He's gonna go ahead and pick up all of his rewards. Ah, oh, damn, I forgot he can sometimes get a ruby out of that. Hell yeah, man, let's go. This is the next place that I want to check out, because I'm pretty sure we can get a Korok Seed if we light these uh, leaves here on fire. Or some sort of thing like that. I'm not sure. Okay, like, you should probably stay in the air for a little bit. It's uh, quite the fire. Let's go see. You. I was right. Okay, cool. How you doing, Korok? Thank you very much for the seed. Uh, uh, Link, don't drop it on him like you did last time. That was, um, wasn't very nice of you. As I'm making my way over to our next destination, I just want to go ahead and say, very sorry for the delay with this video. I was going to have it out uh, yesterday, like I uh, said I was going to in the last episode. But, you know, I got caught up with a few things after I came back from my trip. All sorts of stuff. And I will be starting uh, college up again soon in a couple days, so I'm hoping that doesn't really impact my uh, video schedule that I kind of have, I guess. It doesn't hurt to have more bomb arrows. I forgot to pick these up in the last episode, so... There is one more uh, expansion pass item as well, that is right out by the bomb shrine, that I would like to pick up, and then we'll finally be heading off outside the Great Plateau. Alright, here we are, right up above this wall, is our last expansion pass chest. So we can get the Nintendo Switch shirt. Very stylish, and uh... Pretty cool. Expansion Pass bonus. A shirt with the Nintendo Switch logo on it. It's a rather rare find, so wear it with pride. You know what? He will do so indeed. Look at it. He's wearing it with pride, just like you wanted him to. <laughs> now, something I always thought was funny with this um, Expansion Pass shirt is I'm pretty sure even if you're playing the Wii U version of this game, you still get the Switch shirt as well. Which, I don't know, I always thought it was kind of funny. Alright, Link, it's time. Are you ready? It's finally time to head out into the Hyrule Kingdom below to fully begin the journey. So you know what? Let's go ahead and back up a bit so we can get a running start. And off we go. See you later, Great Plateau. He's had his fun and, uh, you know, a bit of annoyances with some uh, enemies here and there. But you know what? That's just part of surviving out here in the wilds of Hyrule. Hell yeah. <laughs> here we are. Hyrule Kingdom. Okay, now, of course, since now we are finally into the kingdom, we could do all sorts of things. But, of course, Link's main destination is to head over to Kakariko Village to go speak to Impa. But, uh, I, I know for sure I'm definitely not going to be able to do that in this video. That'll probably be, like, the next video or something. Because, uh, you know, there's a bit of things we can do around here before we, uh, make our way to the village. Would you look at that? 
A chest in the dirt. Go ahead and pick it up, Link. Let's see what we got. I know there's all sorts of chests you can get around here like that with Magnesis. Nice. Cool. Amber, I'll take it. And uh, some of them, I do remember, you can get some, like, pretty cool items. Like some uh, cool exclusive items. Uh, I, I just don't remember if you can only find those once you, like, unlock the requirements for it, which is, like, I think, like, a side quest or something. But uh, later on, I will be demonstrating, of course, what I mean by that. Get out of here, Bokoblin. I did not know you were here. Come over here. You're not going to beat him today. He finally has enough of strong weapons to finally defeat Blue Bokoblin. Oh, my God. Damn, does it feel good. <laughs> Oh, nice. I'll take it. Our first rupees. And, uh, you know, I'd take that Boko bad, but, um, that shit breaks, like, incredibly fast, so I'll, I'll pass. I've got stronger weapons anyways. Okay, Link. Be quiet over here. We've got a sleeping moblin right over here in the distance. Shh, Link. Be quiet. Don't wake him up. My god, you have incredibly loud snoring. Jeez. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. You have no idea what's about to come over your way. You have no idea. No idea. Absolutely. Oh, shit. He woke up. Oh, God. He woke up. That's bad. Oh, God. Plan ruined. He woke up. He's got his weapon. Oh, my God, Link. Uh, the sneak was ruined. Oh, God. Um, we we're probably fine. Okay, stay right there. Stay right there. That's right. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get out of here. I'll take... Oh, God. I forgot that we got another one over here as well. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, let's go, Link. He's got a Boko Spear. But we've got a Flurry Rush. Come over here. And one more should do it. Oh, we kind of missed. Oh, a fairy! I would like to pick that up. Thank you. Nice. I completely forgot to mention that. Uh, off in the Great Plateau, sometimes we can get fairies like that by cutting the grass. Although it's not very, um, it's not really worth it to cut, like, every ounce of grass in a uh, Hyrule for that. Because they don't really spawn a lot. But you know what? Sometimes it can happen. Wait, you want to fight him too? You want to fight him too? All right, let's go. Ooh, we missed a flurry rush there. But not this time, though. Let's go. Come over here. You are finished. And stay right there. Link's going to charge up for a run shot. Get out of here. Come on, man. You were aiming way too high. Man, look at these Bacalms over here. They heard some moblins got an ass kicking. Now they want to join in on the fun, too, huh? All right, let's go. Charge up those spin shots. Although, be careful of that mop. You know what? Speaking of the mop... Let's go ahead and take it, Link, and smack the shell of this Bokoblin with a mop! Man, can you imagine? How would it feel to get killed by a mop? That's, uh, that's, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. Man, this Bokoblin has absolutely no idea how to get to Link. Absolutely no idea. Okay, you know what? I'm going to give you a present. Stay right there. There we go. <laughs> and you know what? I'm going to finish it with a mop break. Damn. Wow. Once again, mops are killer weapons. Who would have thought? Who would have thought indeed? The Bosch call a shrine. Now get out of the way, Bokoblins. He's not here to talk to you. It's shrine time. Oh my god, they tried to get in. Damn. The wind guides you, Bosch call a shrine. I've always enjoyed this one. You know, just of course, like the name said, we're going to be using our paraglider and the wind for all that. Amber, I'll gladly take it. So eventually, we'll get to a point, I'm pretty sure if I'm remembering right, pretty soon, we'll eventually be able to sell all those ores we've been getting, and that way we can make some big rupee money. Big rupee money. And we love to see that, of course. Okay, uh... Oh, wait, no, no, the, the, the chest is over here. There we go. Now, we could end the shrine, but we don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and get this chest that's over here, and I'm pretty sure... It leads to a weapon? Soldier's Claymore. Damn, I forgot you get that one. Yeah, you know what? Uh, sorry, Farming Ho. You break just as easy as the mop, so uh, get out if you're into the abyss below. And I will take that. Thank you very much. Hell yeah, we're climbing up the ranks of the weapons. Oh, there we go. Nice, the side quest popped up. Yeah, with these, it's a whole bunch of, I believe, I think it's like the expansion pass quests. You can go ahead and get all sorts of cool, like, clothing items and uh, other cool gear. 
stuff I won't be uh, probably getting until much later as they're spread out like throughout all of Hyrule. But you know what? It's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> there's going to be quite a few of these quests that are going to be popping up. So uh, you know what? Let's just ignore them for now. We can't do much about them. Let's go ahead and cross this bridge. The end is here, huh? The end is here. What makes you say that? I may be somewhat used to seeing bad omens by now, but that, well, let's just say it's better than most. We're doomed. I mean, don't panic. Sorry, who are you? Have we met? Uh, nah, he just woke up from a, a hundred year slumber, so I'm pretty sure you guys haven't met before. Well, it doesn't matter who you are, really. I was getting tired of talking to myself, so you've come at a good time. Well, I mean, he's got places to be, people to see, but, you know, he could spare some time, I guess. By the by, those strange things that popped out of the ground, did you see them? I'm not talking about mushrooms here, I'm talking about those towers. Oh yeah, that was all him, he activated those. They seem to have popped up all over the place. And that's not the only strange thing that's happened. Those long, deserted shrines suddenly started glowing. Yep, that was also him as well. You know what this means, don't you? The end is here! Uh, I wouldn't quite say that, sir. Um, I mean, yeah, the, the shrines got challenges in them, but, you know, they're not that bad if you're a skilled adventurer like Link. With all this craziness happening, I've been keeping an eye on that thing. Just to see if it suddenly starts moving, you know? Uh, sir, are you okay? It sounds like you're not doing too well. I mean, he could take you to- is there, like, a, a doctor nearby in Hyrule? He could take you there. He doesn't got, like, the quickest mode of transport. You know, he's a good walker. I'm talking about that guardian, of course. Haven't you heard the old stories about Hyrule? See that thing over there? The one shaped like an overturned urn? That is what I'm talking about. Did you know some of them can move? One of them once chased me down and tried to kill me. Oh, yeah, he's been there too. But uh, those ones are decayed, so you don't, gotta, you don't gotta worry about that. No, it was a different one. That one was closer to the castle, but before the forest. When they spot you, they shoot blue beams of light at you. Man, I was so sure that was the end for me. I was prepared for the worst. But I somehow managed to escape into the nearby woods. You think it was my lightning-fast reflexes that saved me? Huh, I wish. Truth is, I just got lucky. Anyway, I hear guardians like that still wander around Hyrule Castle. Be careful. Now, don't you worry, man. He'll be careful, all right. Look at how beautiful it is. There it is. The dueling peaks off in the distance. God damn, I forgot how huge the mountains are in it. Damn. <laughs> and we got a tower over there. And I believe there's some shrines up there as well. Um, those shrines I won't be uh, getting to do. I won't be doing until like a bit later on in the playthrough. Because uh, you kind of have to climb up pretty damn high to reach them. And uh, Link doesn't got quite the stamina for that right now. But later, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. But first... I'm gonna go ahead and, oh God, watch out for the boulders! And uh, go ahead and pick up this Korok seed from uh, running into this flower over here. Just like how we did in the Grey Plateau earlier on. And there we go. Thank you very much. The more of these we can get before um, Kakariko, the better, as uh, I'll touch on that later. But uh, it's gonna be very important, like I was saying. Small rabbit, let's push this boulder into this hole as well for another Korok seed. Hey there, how you doing? Don't mind Link, he's gonna go and uh, take your axe. Hey there, where are you planning on going with my axe? Uh, I mean, his, his is about to break, he needs a, uh, you know, a refill on it. Sorry about that. He needs it more than you. It's okay, you can have it. Sorry for hollering at you like that. It's just the times we live in. No one's going to get mad if you pick up something that's just lying around. If something is important to someone, they wouldn't let it out of their sight. You know what? That is very true. By the way, I'm a traveling merchant. Name's Giro. Nice to meet you. I venture into the forest to get my wares. Oh, but I also buy them from travelers like you. So, do you happen to have anything rare you'd be interested in selling? Oh, yes he does. He's got quite the rare things you'd like to get your hands on. Great. Let's see what you got. Well, kind sir, how would you like to have a ruby? Uh, you know what, Link's gonna wanna take one of them, you know. J just for collections purposes. But you could take, you could take one. Let's go ahead. You could take seven of these opals. 
for 420 rupees. Oh man, look at that. Beautiful. 650. You can go ahead and take 12 of these ambers. Goddamn, Link. We've hit the thousands. You're rich. Striking it big in the rupee compartment right now. Yeah, sure, I'll buy you. I'll buy something. What you got? I know a lot of these uh, guys can carry arrows. Oh, hearty truffles. I would love to pick those up. These are going to be very helpful uh, cooking ingredients. I'll pick up the arrows as well. How much for all? I've got a lot of rupees. I don't mind. 60? Got yourselves a deal, sir. I'll go ahead and pick up those uh, hearty truffles as well. I don't care how pricey. They are very helpful. You know, I'll take the rock salt, too. You can uh, do some cool cooking with that as well. How much? 60? Not bad. Thank you very much, Giro. Man, Link, you keep getting distracted from your main objective. You gotta go to Dueling Peaks. But, you know, I get it. I get it. Hyrule has all sorts of distractions. Oh, God. Oh, God. I was gonna want you guys to gather back around the bomb arrows again. Or the bomb barrels. Oh, damn. So I could do that. That was uh, close enough. We got most of them. Okay, blue guy. Stay over here. Stay over. Oh, and a red. Come over here. Ooh, God. You're not gonna like what's coming for this flurry rush. Get out of here. And you as well. <laughs> nice. I'm pretty sure there's a few more camps like this around um, Dueling Peaks. And, uh, you know, Link may or may not be heading over there. You know what? Like I said, distractions in Hyrule, there are quite a lot of them. Proxim Bridge and Dueling Peaks Stable. Yep, we're almost there, Link. But before we stroll through the Dueling Peaks, I would like to cross this river so we can hit that tower. So we can uh, fill out this area on the map. As uh, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this earlier in the playthrough, but... Man, uh, not having things marked out on the map is very annoying, as uh, it makes things very difficult for exploring and all that. Oh god! Ah, oh, we made it. We made it. I see you, Octorok. Don't think you're, uh, slick shooting those rocks just because his back's turned on you. But my god, your aim is terrible. You cannot hit- oh, wow. Okay, uh, of course, right when I start saying that. Alright, you know what? Link kind of deserved that, I guess. Sure. Good shot. Here we are. Dueling Peaks Tower. It's a lot of climbing uh, for this tower, as well as all the other towers. Some of them are kind of annoying. I was like, I'm pretty sure there's like somewhere you gotta like burn some things out of the way to uh, climb up them, because, uh, you know, whoever uh, last took care of these did not do a very good job at all, in the slightest. Come on, Link. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. There we are. Finally made it to the top. Chica Slate updated. Additional functionality detected. The Chica Sensor. Searching for shrines. The sensor reacts when you are close to shrines that you have not yet visited. If you head in the direction where the reaction is strongest, you should be able to find the shrine. Chica Sensor acquired. You can enable or disable the Chica Sensor with Y on the map screen. Thank you very much, Sheikah Tower. But you know what? Why would Link ever want to disable the sensor? Because it's very, very helpful in uh, finding uh, shrines around Hyrule. Just like it was saying, find it where the strongest signal is. And just like that, there it goes. Active already. Because uh, even with the amount of times I've replayed this game, there's still like a handful of shrines that I always kind of like forget the locations of. Oh, he alerted them. That's not good. Well, he's dead, but the others are alerted now, but we should probably be fine. Okay, Link, let's go. Oh, God, watch out for the smack. Oh, God. Ooh, okay, he took a hit. Okay, that's one down. One down. Ooh, he went for a jump attack. He missed. Flight this on fire so we can get some more damage. Come over here. Oh, God. Perfect flurry rush. That was kind of scary. Come over here. Let's go. Get out of here. Oh, man, I think there's still a red left, right? Did he, like, fall off the cliff or something? Where'd he go? Is, is he dead? Is that all of them? No. I think that was all of them. Good job, Link. We're almost through Dueling Peaks. 
just got that shrine that I want to go ahead and do, and, uh, oh, God, hello. How are you doing, Lizalfos? I forgot that you run into these guys over here. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? Um, Link's gonna call a truce with you right now. He, um, he's not really looking for a fight, and his health is not in the best condition right now, so, uh, you see ya. He's gotta go, uh, take care of this shrine first. Oh, man. Okay, we should be good to climb up. We did spam it, right? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. We are at the Re Dehi Shrine. Timing is critical. Re Dehi. Alright, I remember this one. Gotta go ahead and use the switches. I've always thought this one was pretty fun. Especially when you get to the, the last puzzle of it. All the ones that, all the shrines like involve like moving things and kind of like matching the timing of the rhythm and stuff to like launch them. I always love it. It's a lot of fun. Take him away, flying, uh, floating pathway. You know what? I, uh, do not know how that exists, but, um, the Sheikah made the shrine, so, you know, their technology is quite advanced, so. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh god. Alright, uh, <laughs> okay, Link, let's try that again. That didn't work. It should work this time, though. There we go. Stood on that switch a little too long, but that's alright. It happens. Come on, little orb. Keep on going. There we go. Okay, now for this last one. Uh, I do want to pick up that chest over there. And I'm pretty sure we kind of want to do some uh, cool moves or something to get to that. Or you can. I'm pretty sure, like, the intended method is to, like, of getting that is to, like, launch this thing upwards by hitting the switch. But I think there's, like, a way we can get it if we paraglide over here. Oh, God, I tried. Wait, no, no, hold up. That looks doable. Something about that just tells me it looks doable. I don't know. Okay, what if we hit it from over here? Oh, it's probably too far. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. We got the Climber's Bandana, which is a very helpful clothing item, of course, as that allows Link to climb a bit faster. You practiced last time on the Moblin and you failed. So let's go ahead and properly hit him. With a sneak strike! Ooh, damn! Never saw that one coming. Perfect. Okay, all that's left is these guys over here. Because the fun does not end. Okay, for real this time, Link. No more distractions after this enemy camp over here. But I'm pretty sure even if we do run into any others, which uh, there kind of are, such as that shrine thing, we'll be alright, as we're almost there at the Dueling Peaks uh, stable, with literally like right around the corner. But of course, first, we've got a fight in our hands. And look at him, he's scared. He ran into the water. Everyone's dead except you. I'm sorry, that's just how the way goes. So see ya! No jump attack for you! And there it is, right over there. The Dueling Peak Stable. We finally made it. And of course, we got this shrine over here as well. Which I'm gonna go ahead and activate. And finish, of course. I believe the only way of accessing it for now is to fly over from that cliff and fly over here to the Ha Dahamar Shrine. And before we enter, I could have sworn I heard someone getting hurt. Was that you, little goat? Are you okay? Are you alright? You're standing there. You're looking kind of sad. Oh, don't worry. If you're still over there, Link will come check up on you after the shrine. The Water Guides. Ha, da Hamar Shrine. Alright, here we go. Of course, since it has water in the name, we want to go ahead and use Cryonis to build all sorts of climbable walls. So we can go ahead and make our way over here. And now we can get started on the main attraction, which is uh, this... Big-ass thing over here. Now, it may look intimidating at first, 
And it kind of is. I remember the first time I played this game, I saw this and I was like, um, yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna go ahead and make some walls for the ball so it can, like, easily fall down so it doesn't hit some other ramps. Okay, that's... How about that? That should be good. And we'll place one, like, over here as well. There we go. Perfect. Hell yeah. I think there's a chest in here we can get as well. I just don't remember where it is. Oh wait, right as I say that, there it is, right over here. I forgot, uh, we gotta use this waterfall. Let's go ahead and uh, make an even bigger path for us to climb as well. There we go, that should be good, right? There we go, perfect. Oh, damn, purple rupee, I forgot that I had that. Nice. Good evening, don't see a whole lot of travelers passing through here. You know, with how peaceful it is around here, it's sometimes easy to forget that the world almost ended years ago. But there are still monsters wandering around, and the area near Hyrule Castle is especially dangerous. If you're going to be traveling, you should know a thing or two about elixirs. You can make elixirs by mixing bugs and other small creatures with monster parts. Most of them are no good for refilling your health, but they can have a lot of unique effects. Some elixirs can increase your speed, others raise your resistance to extreme temperatures. I'm actually impressed that you've made it this far without any knowledge of elixirs. I can't have it on my conscience if something happens to you from here, so I'll give you one of mine. Aw, thanks, lady. Using a hasty elixir increases your run speed, so I use it to escape from enemies or any time I need to hurry. The recipe is just high tail lizard and monster parts, so I usually have a stock of ten or so on hand. You know what, that is pretty smart. Uh, some of the monsters around here can get pretty nasty as a... <laughs> Link has doubled before. And here we are, finally, at the Dueling Peak Stable. Very nice. I've always loved how the stables, you know, everyone comes and goes, travelers around, places to stay, people to see. And here we go. We got Beetle over here. Of course, a recurring Zelda character. And he's going to be just as important, kind of, in this game as he is in the others, as he's got all sorts of things that Link can buy from. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. The name's Beetle, but you can call me... Actually, let's just stick with Beetle. But even if you forget my face, you can remember me by my beetle-shaped backpack. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. I also buy all sorts of things. If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Well, let's see what you got on hand, Beetle. I'm sure I have something for you'll find useful. Please have a good look. Uh, well, I mean, these stuff Link doesn't really have a need for. Let's talk these arrows, though. Let's uh, go ahead and buy these. These are going to be helpful. Uh, this is probably going to be kind of expensive, right? 120? Oh, it's not that bad. We've got a lot of rupees. Thanks for the business. Did you need anything else? No, he's good. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. Don't worry, he will be a recurring customer to you, Beetle. Don't you worry. Since we finally arrived at the Dueling Peak Stable, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up things here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And I'll see you in the next one, where from here on out, it's only a short trip onwards, Kakariko Village. We're almost there. It's got a little bit more to go. But there is going to be a couple things I want to do before we head to Kakariko, such as uh, somewhere off in the forest over here, we can go ahead and find ourselves a horse. Link's very first horse you can go ahead and get and register to the stable. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start the episode off with that. We'll see how it goes, because sometimes the horses can get kind of annoying to deal with. But like I said, we'll just see how it goes in the next one. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you're enjoying my videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.